Hey guys, it's Laura here again. Welcome to another video and let's get into it. Today's video is inspired by the new Korean Netflix series sensation, Squid Game. It is a survival style show where the contenders must win the day. In this case, playing games that they used to play in school or when they were younger, but with very serious repercussions, death. If they manage to eliminate the other contestants, they win $38 million. I guess the show in a way mirrors the cutthroat contemporary art world and some of the sets could have even been an installation that you might experience at a fancy gallery or art fair. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 5 artistic references from the art and design world that you may have missed. Also, spoilers ahead. Number 1. Relativity of Escher it must be one of the most familiar images in modern art, a space distorting interior that could never exist in reality, dominated by staircases sprouting serially in all directions and filled with expressionless mannequin-like figures walking up and down like members of a religious order calmly going about their daily business. The reference here to Squid Game is very easy to connect, as this is the way in the series the players would access the playing rooms, through these optically confusing stairs. Extremely impossible to ever locate really anything. The guards also look very anonymous, with the help of their red uniform and black mask which also reflect the people in Escher's piece, as they are very difficult to tell apart. Number 2. La Muralla Roja by Ricardo Bofil, Spanish for the Red Wall. It's a housing project. It's located in Spain within La Manzanera development in Calpe, on top of a cliff overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. The striking colours that cover the outer and inner facades are selected to either contrast with nature or complement its purity. Formed like a fortress, the project appears as if it's emerging from the rocky cliffs it sits on. In Squid Game, when you were first shown the contestants going into the playing rooms, the colours definitely impact you from these gravity-defying stairs, just as Bofil provides an even greater illusion of space, making it arduous to pursue the characters during the scenes when they were on the stairs. The strict lines and geometrical shapes are also very similar to Bofil's architecture and children's furniture. Number 3. The Scream, 1983 by Edvard Munch. In this painting, he was trying to capture an emotion or moment in time. People think this is a screaming person, but that's not what is going on. It is a man hearing whether in his head or not. He feels the sensation of nature screaming all around him. In fact, the full title of the portrait, The Scream of Nature, suggests the scream comes from the subject's surroundings. The emotion and depiction of Munch in this painting fits very well with this scene in episode 1, where this participant receives a burst of blood in the face and realises that the player has been eliminated and death is very imminent and very much real, which then results in her screaming and alerting all of the other contenders, causing pure panic where many people die. The raw sentiment that Munch portrays in his painting is very much felt and represented in this scene. Number 4. The Rothschild Surrealist Ball Few people are fully qualified and equipped to host a party as legendary as the Rothschild family. But even they managed to surpass expectations on December 12, 1972, when guests from Audrey Hepburn to Yves Saint Laurent and Salvador Dali joined Marie Elaine de Rothschild at Chateau Ferriere for a surrealist ball. The opulent mass party featured servants dressed as cats and a dessert shaped like a nude woman. The Surrealist Ball definitely had a hand in inspiring the masks of the VIP guests in episode 7. In the series, we figure out very easily that the VIP guests are very wealthy and upper class people. They have so much money that they almost throw it away on purpose, placing foolish bets and also using it to divert themselves in this manner, very similar to those who attended the Rothschild Ball. Furthermore, while they are watching the game on the bridge, the environment is very lavish, exaggerated and surreal, depicting a jungle and everyone is masked, including the waiters, and the women are serving as furniture, again, evocative to the atmosphere of the surrealist ball. 
Number five, Judy Chicago's dinner party. The dinner party, an important icon of the 1970s feminist art movement and a milestone in 20th century art, the dinner party comprises a massive ceremonial banquet arranged on a triangular table with a total of 39 play settings, each commemorating an important woman from history. The settings consist of embroidered runners, gold chalices and utensils, and china painted porcelain plates with raised central motifs that are based on vulva and butterfly forms and rendered in styles appropriate to the individual women being honoured. The names of another 999 women are inscribed in gold on the white tile floor below the triangular table. She created the installation with the desire to end the continual cycle of omissions by which women are absent from the archives of history. For that reason, it is quite ironic that in this scene of episode 8, player 067, the only girl left, is seated with 456 and 218. She's in the weakest position that she has ever been throughout the whole series. While the other two players are eating and savouring their food, she is bleeding heavily and struggling to eat. 067 dies at the end of the episode, so she will be one of the women absent from the archives, dismissed and overshadowed by men who had an advantage over her. Throughout the whole series, the women were all seen as weak and feeble and no one wanted them on any of their teams because the men felt they didn't bring anything or want an asset and would only bring them down. The male contenders diminished the female gender to delicate, frail, small objects, helpless and powerless. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for listening. If there's any other artist or designer's life you want to learn more about, please leave it down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like. Please subscribe and put your notifications on so that you can be notified for when I next post. See you on the next one. Bye!